Okay, we're going to figure out the exact value for tangent of pi over 12. So first, of course, it would be a good idea to change the pi over 12 from radians to degrees, right? So let's go ahead and do that right here. Pi over 12, and we multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. And you see pi and pi will cancel. And when you reduce 180 degrees over 12, you get 15 degrees. So this is the same as asking, what's the exact value for tangent of 15 degrees? And you know, we cannot just look at the unit circle for this, right? We have to use either the sum or the difference formula for tangent. And we have to think about what minus what will be 15 in this case. And we know we can use 45 minus 30, or maybe 60 minus 45, up to you. And let me just write this down as tangent, and for the 15 degrees, let's look at this as 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. So of course, when you subtract this, you get the 15 degrees. You can also use 60 degrees minus 45 degrees, all right? It will be the same answer at the end, all right? And we know how to take care of 45 degrees, and we also know how to work with 30 degrees. But before we do that, we have to be sure we know the difference formula for the tangent, right? So this is the following. For this right here, if we will have tangent of 45 degrees, and then minus tangent of 30 degrees, and then this is all over 1 plus tangent of the first angle, which is the 45 degrees again, times tangent of the second angle, which is the 30 degrees. Right? So that's the formula. Tangent of the first minus tangent of the second, all over 1 plus tangent of the first times tangent of the second. Right? So this is pretty much what we have. And next, of course, we have to do this, 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 and that individually. Right? And to do so, let's go ahead and look at the typical special right triangles. So right here, let's put this down. We have the 45, 45, 90, right? So we have the 1, 1, square root of 2. And we also have to look at the 30, 60, 90, right? So this is right here. This is the 30 degrees, and this is the 90 degree angles, and we will have the ratio of the sides. 1, square root of 3, and 2. Okay, now let's work with tangent of 45 first. This right here, we look at this triangle. This is the angle 45. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is 1 over 1. This right here is just going to be a 1, right? So let me write this down as just a 1. And then minus tangent of 30. Well, we can look at this triangle. 30 degrees is right here. And we do the opposite over adjacent, which is 1 over square root 3. And let me just keep it as how it is for now, right? 1 over square root of 3. And then all over 1 plus tangent of 45 is once again 1 over 1, which is 1. So we have 1 right here. Times tangent of 30 is once again 1 over square root 3. And I'm not rationalizing the denominator here because we have a complex fraction right here. Anyway, if you look at this, we have one small fraction and the second small fraction instead of a big fraction, right? Well, to fix a complex fraction, let's go ahead, multiply the top and bottom by the denominator of the small fraction, which is just a square root of 3. Let's do that on the top and on the bottom. And we will see, take this times that, 1 times square root of 3 is just square root of 3. And then, square root 3 times this, square root 3, square root 3, cancel. We just have minus 1. And over, once again, we take this times this, take this times that. It will be just square root 3, and then this times that, square root 3, square root 3, cancel. So we have plus 1. Like this. At the end, as we can see, we have a square root 3 in the denominator. We have to fix that issue, right? We have to rationalize the denominator here. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I didn't do it right here, because I have to do it at the end anyway, right? So to do this right here, I will have to multiply the bottom and the top by the conjugate of the bottom. Here is square root 3 plus 1. That means we have to multiply by square root 3 minus 1, right? Do the opposite in the middle. And we have to do the same thing on the bottom and on the top. So let's put it down. 
screw 3 minus 1, like this. OK, let's see what do we have. And I should be able to write it down here for you guys. Let's work out the bottom. There are two ways to do it. The first way is you can do it in your head, and this is how you can do it, all right? When you have a plus b times a minus b, you will just get a squared minus b squared. So a is square root 3. Square root 3 squared is just a regular 3. Minus b, which is 1. 1 squared is 1. In another word, we just have to do 3 minus 1, which is 2. And if you're OK with that, that's it. You have a 2 in the denominator. And let me show you what I did right here. Once again, I'm just doing square root 3 square minus 1 square, right? And you can also follow this out if you would like, but the formula is just this, and then at the end, it's just 3 minus 1, which is this 2 right here. On the top, let's go ahead, follow this out. Square root 3, square root 3, we get regular 3. And then, square root 3 times negative 1, that's minus square root of 3. And then this times this, minus square root of 3. Negative 1 times negative 1, we have plus 1, like that, okay? So this is what we have. And on the top, you see 3 plus 1, we can combine terms. So that's going to be a 4, and then minus square root of 3, minus another 1. So that's minus 2 of them, right? Minus 2 square root of 3, or over 2, like this. And notice that on the top here, we have the 4 and then the 2. Two ways you can reduce this. One, you can factor out the 2 on the top and it cancel out the 2. Or I'm just going to split the fraction because I have the 2 on the bottom only, right? So let me write this down as 4 over 2 and then minus 2 square root of 3 over 2. For this right here, of course, we can reduce 1 and 2. So we have 2 right here. And for this right here, I can cancel, cancel. Be sure you work with one fraction individually and cancel. Don't just cancel the 2 and the 4 without doing this correctly, right? Anyway, 2 minus square root of 3. And this is it. This is the simplest answer that you can get for tangent of pi over 12, namely tangent of 15 degrees. And that's it.